Mark Rogers TV on the eve of the beginning of the official start of the college football season. Week 1, Ohio State, Indiana, and a few other games on Thursday night as we roll into a big weekend of college football highlighted by Alabama, Florida State, Florida, Michigan, and a few other gems. We are running down our predictions for the 2017 season. We have talked in recent days a ton of Big 12 football, so check out those videos. You get analysis on season previews on all the contenders and the week one matchup. So I'm not going to completely run through the analysis of why these standings are going to turn out this way the first week of December. I'm just going to run it through and let you know where I see the Big 12 finishing here in 2017. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, that's the class of the Big 12, and they are each going to lose one at conference game, and the final records are right there. The Cowboys go 11-1, Oklahoma at 10-2, Kansas State, a very capable club with the one non-conference game against Vandy, finish at 9-3. West Virginia's got a very difficult opener. Uh, FedEx Field, the home of the Redskins against Virginia Tech, we'll keep in our eye out on that one as that's basically a toss-up. Tom Herman at Texas, of course, taking over the Longhorns program after success at Ohio State and at Houston. The Longhorns are going to have their issues, but get finally back to a winning record for the first time in four seasons at 7-5. and five. TCU with a difficult non-conference game against Arkansas. They lost to the Hogs last year at home. They finished 5-4 and four in the Big 12. Then you've got the lower tier, the teams that will not make postseason play. I think Matt Rule is a brilliant hire by Baylor. They hit gold there, but this season is going to be difficult for the Bears. They are the class of the underbelly of the Big 12 at 3-6, and 5-7. and seven. Iowa State, Texas Tech, and Kansas. I know that the Cyclones, much is made of them breaking through and being respectable, getting to postseason play this year. I don't see it. The Cyclones go 2-7, and 4-8 and eight overall. That's my take on the Big 12. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State are the class. They will play in the Big 12 championship game, and Oklahoma State will run that record to 12-1 and overall and win the Big 12 championship in the reemergence and reestablishment of the Big 12 conference championship game. We'd like to hear from you. Let's hear your comments. I try to respond to as many as possible right here on Mark Rogers TV.